At first glance, a rifle barrel might not seem like the flashiest part of your setup, but if you've ever lugged a rifle through steep backcountry, hiked for hours in snow or heat, or taken a long-range shot where every ounce of precision mattered, you already know. The barrel can make or break your hunt, and lately the hunting world has been buzzing about one question. Should you ditch your traditional steel barrel and go carbon? It's easy to see why carbon fiber barrels are turning heads. They look futuristic, they're lightweight, and the manufacturers promise accuracy that rivals steel. But do they live up to the hype when it counts? Out in the wild, when your shot window is barely a few seconds wide? Let's break it down. Steel barrels have been the backbone of firearms for over a century. They're simple, proven, and battle-tested. They hold up in rugged terrain, offer excellent thermal stability, and when machined properly, they're capable of sub-MOA precision all day long. Ask any long-range shooter or sniper. They'll tell you that a match-grade steel barrel is still the gold standard for absolute accuracy. So why would anyone switch? Wait, that's the first thing you'll notice. A steel barrel, especially a heavy contour one for accuracy, can tip the scales. Add a scope, a bipod, and a full mag, and suddenly your hunting rifle feels more like a bench rest setup. Carbon fiber barrels were designed to solve that problem. Instead of a full steel profile, they use a steel liner surrounded by high strength carbon fiber wrap. The result? A barrel that's up to 40% lighter than its all steel counterpart. And if you're covering miles of backcountry and elevation, that weight savings isn't just nice, it's survival. Every ounce counts, but the weight is only part of the story. Carbon fiber is known for its incredible strength to weight ratio and heat dissipation properties. That means it cools down faster than steel. So if you're taking multiple follow-up shots, say in a predator hunt or on a range, your barrel stays cooler, which can reduce point of impact shift and help maintain accuracy. That said, carbon barrels aren't miracle workers. They can still heat up, especially under sustained fire, but they handle that heat differently. Instead of letting it build up quickly in a narrow core like steel, the carbon helps spread and dissipate it across the surface. That leads to a more consistent thermal profile and potentially tighter shot groups over time. Now let's talk about precision. A lot of shooters believe carbon barrels are less accurate than steel, and that can be true, but it depends on the quality. Cheap carbon barrels often cut corners in the wrap process or use inconsistent steel liners. The result? Wandering zeros and unpredictable performance. But top-tier carbon barrels like those from Proof Research, Christensen Arms, or Bartling have proven they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with high-end steel barrels. Some even outshoot them. Still, consistency is key. Steel is more predictable because it's a uniform material. When done right, it's boringly reliable. Carbon fiber, being a composite, adds variables. You need expert craftsmanship to get it right. Durability is another point worth digging into. Steel is rugged. Drop it, scrape it, run it through the mud. It'll probably shrug it off. Carbon barrels, while strong, can be damaged more easily if struck in the wrong way. The carbon fiber wrap can chip, crack, or delaminate under severe impact. And if it does, you're out of commission. Price is another sticking point. Steel barrels, even custom ones, are usually cheaper than carbon. Carbon barrels can easily run you $800 to $1,500 or more just for the barrel. That's a serious investment, especially for a hunter who might only fire a handful of shots each season. But for some, the benefits outweigh the cost. Let's say you're a sheep hunter in Alaska. You're climbing thousands of vertical feet with every step. You need a lightweight rifle that won't compromise on range. A carbon barrel might mean the difference between taking the shot or never reaching the ridge. Or maybe you're stalking elk through Colorado timber and want a balanced, maneuverable rifle that won't wear out your shoulder. Again, carbon could be your answer. On the flip side, if you're hunting whitetail from a fixed blind or spot and stalk hunting where weight isn't a huge issue, a well-made steel barrel is probably still your best bet. It's cheaper, tougher, and just as accurate in most real-world situations. So what's better? The answer isn't one size fits all. Carbon fiber barrels offer real advantages in weight and heat dissipation, especially for mountain hunters and those looking for the lightest, most advanced builds. But steel barrels are still the benchmark for affordability, ruggedness, and consistent performance. 
If you're chasing ounces and every step matters, carbon is worth the splurge. But if you want a reliable rifle that'll serve you for decades and won't break the bank, steel's not going anywhere. Either way, the barrel you choose should match your mission. And in the end, it's not just about the tech. It's about the hunt, the shot, and the moment. Choose wisely because when you pull that trigger, everything depends on it.